Yo, what is good, y'all? You doing what I'm saying? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. This is your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger, man. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Your boy, J.I., is... You feel me? I'm on some goddamn prank and shit right now, you know what I'm saying? I just held my boy Lester because we're on, we're on our way to Versatile Speed's house. I'm actually down the street right now. Um, we're on our way to his house. I just called him and told him that somebody rear-ended the fuck out of me. And that's why it was taking me so long to get there. I told him that, like, my trunk is fucked off. My exhaust pipes are fucked off. Like, everything's all bad. The trunk won't close and shit like that. So, you feel me? He's over there freaking out right now. So, we're going to get his reaction when we pull up. Um, we really not even that far. It's like five minutes away. So, let's go ahead and roll that intro. What is good, y'all? You dig? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. You dig? Man, prank wars, man. You know, I just feel like pranking niggas today, you know? I prank my girl when I get home. See, I stay tuned to the Joy and Joel channel. You feel me? I make sure y'all go tap into that motherfucker. But we finna go out here and get his reaction. Going over there to go bust his ass, get some buckets. You know what I mean? Y'all let me know in the conversation down below. If y'all wanna start seeing some one on one games, some 5v5 action. You feel me? Cause J.I. used to be a hooper big time in high school. You feel me? But uh, torn meniscus and all that. We'll, you know, we could get into that story. I'm, I'm thinking about doing that story when the channel hits like 20,000 views. I mean, 20,000 subscribers. I'll go ahead and make the video um, talking about how and why I became a YouTuber in the first place um, and, and what kind of inspired me to uh, to want to do YouTube in the first place. So with that being said, man, we're going to pull up on Lester in a couple minutes. All right, y'all, so we just pulled up. You dig what I'm saying? Let me let this guy know I'm here. See how bad my shit is? You see how bad that hoe is? My motherfucking trunk won't even close, goddamn. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, my shit perfect, right? I was like, bro, for real, I thought your shit was like, fuck, bro. I got that hoe fixed on the road type. Did I do a good job? So you ready to get your ass busted, bro? You ready to get your ass busted or what? Ain't gonna bust nobody in, man. Well, come on, man. We hooping on your shit or on that shit? Yeah, come on. What is up, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? So, those are just some short clips I did um, pranking Lester. Y'all let me know if y'all want to see some more um, prank videos on this channel. Or if you really do want to see me, go tap into my couple's channel with me and my fiance, Joy and Joe. Pops up on the screen right here. Y'all make sure y'all go tap in the links in the description down below. But, um, yeah, man. Did a little prank on that boy. You feel me? Caught up and had a hoop session. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap, man. That boy, yeah. <laughs> Unless you need to put some shots up, big dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You need to put some shots up, work on that goddamn defense, man. Put your hand up, you feel me? But anyway, enough of that. I really just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all real quick about the merch, about the brand. So if you guys did not know, I have started my own merch brand again. Um, before I used to have one called Outlaws and it was Build Your Legacy. So it was a O with the crown um, on the chest piece just like this, but it had Build Your on this sleeve and Legacy going down this sleeve. Um, I ended up stopping that brand just because I couldn't find the right people to make the clothing for me and stuff like that. And the quality of merch wasn't where I wanted it to be. So I ended up stopping that brand, put a pause on it, and said I'll pick up the merch a little bit later down in my YouTube career. I ended up starting the merch up again. Now I wanted to give you guys a quick little breakdown and a rundown, a little bit of insight of where this logo actually came from. Huge shout out to my boy Spawn one ss you dig what I'm saying? He actually took what was in my head and made it come to, you know what I mean, real life, you feel me? So basically, if you guys don't know, I called a star this channel 
um, in my daily driver, my 2015 Camaro 2SS. I call it Mamba in respects to Kobe, <laughs> the Mamba, you feel me, that we lost in 2020. Um, and then J.I., you guys already know that's me, J.I. Productions, you feel me? So what do you do when you drive your car? You get inside the car, am I right or am I wrong? You feel me? So with that being said, the Mamba, if you look at it, the Mamba, here go the teeth right here, and this is the J.I. If you notice, every single one of the merches have two colorways. The Mamba is one color and the J.I. is one color. But if you look real close, the drip is also the same color that matches with the Mamba and the, another color that matches with the J.I. So if you look right here, you got the black drip going right now because it's the black snake, the black Mamba. Now, with that being said, let me break it down for you. So. I'm inside of Mamba every single day. I already had my own drip, you feel me? Hence, the J.I. has its own drip color. Then, the Mamba has its own drip color as well. If you guys can see right here, these are the teeth. The Mamba is biting me. And so, you feel me, the venom or whatever the case may be, the drip that the Mamba has is now intertwining with the drip that J.I. already has and making one big, you feel me, one big drip fest, you feel what I'm saying? So, that's where, I, you know what I mean, my mindset was when it came to the logo. I told my boy Spawn exactly what I wanted to do, and we spitballed ideas for, I want to say, about two, maybe three weeks, went through like five to ten different logos before we came up with this right here, and when I seen it, it stuck and I couldn't let it go. You feel me? I couldn't pass it up. It was no edits that I wanted to make to it or anything like that. So that's where this logo came from. You feel me? A lot of people have been asking me, um, you know what I mean? Hit me up in the DMs and stuff like that. Asking me where I got the idea from and stuff like that. That's exactly the background to the J.I. logo. You feel me? So with that being said, the merch will all be sold. Right now, I don't have a website um, just because I'm just getting this company started. We made a lot of orders already. I really want to say I appreciate you to everybody who have ordered from even in Ohio to California to Houston, Texas, everywhere, you feel me? A lot of orders have been coming in from all over, and I really want to say I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart to everybody who's placed the order. If you guys haven't placed the order yet, man, Go ahead, I opened up a new Instagram. The link is in the description down below. It is official underscore BYL dot shop. Now, that's, now that brings me to my second point. A lot of people have been asking me what BYL stands for. Like I said, I used to have a brand called Outlaws. Um, and the saying for that brand was build your legacy. And I have not dropped that saying. You feel me? It's the same saying for this brand. Because that's exactly what I'm doing. That's exactly what you're doing. That's exactly what everybody is doing on a day-to-day -day basis. You're building your legacy. At the end of the day, the whole point and purpose of life is to make your mark on this earth. You feel me? And that's your legacy. I'm just building my legacy. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to put my name in the concrete and stamp it. You feel me? So... That's where BYL stands for. Now, with that being said, I have a baseball tee that I just dropped. I made only 30 of them joints. Now we're down to 28, you feel me? So if you haven't already, make sure you guys tap in. Give me one second, let me grab it. Yes, sir. So this right here, big J.I. squad on the drip. You got a fifth gen Camaro on the back end, you feel me? And then you got the J.I. squad dripping. You already know I gotta have a drip, you feel me? Gotta have a J.I. drip, man, so it's only right. Now, like I said, I'm only making 30 of these shirts right here. No different colorways, none of that. It's literally this colorway right here. If you are interested, go ahead, hit the link in the description down below and tap in on the Instagram official underscore BYL dot shop and place your order for this merch, man. It's they're going quick. I ain't gonna lie, like I just told you, I just dropped this shirt like a day ago and I only got 28 left. So y'all make sure y'all tap in, bro. Any size you need, I wanna make sure I can get it to you. You can send your bread through the sale and we go straight from there. Let me know what you guys think about the brand. We got different colors. 
any color you want. I'm doing pre-sales right now, but they end February 18th. That is my birthday. February 18th, I'm stopping the pre-sale. Now, if you do the pre-order, you feel me? You can do whatever color you want. You can mix and match. You can do a black hoodie with a white mamba with the yellow J.I. Or you could do a white hoodie with a black mamba with the yellow, with the white J.I. You feel me? Any color you want, you can do for the pre-order. After the pre-orders are done, I'm gonna be the one that decides the colors and I'm just gonna drop them out in the masses so you guys can pick up you know I mean? whatever color you want. Don't get it twisted. You already know it's gonna be drip. It's big J.I. Stop playing with me. But without further ado, like I say, that's gonna be it for this video. Y'all make sure y'all do all those things that you already know what to do. Thumbs up, comment, smash that subscribe button. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.